Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm like Dan. Gorgeous looking bottle. What is it? Where do we get it from? Let me guess. Jordan. What a guy. Pickle Rick. What a guy. Uh, Pickle Rick. <laughs> now this comes from uh, Jordan over at uh, Keep It Funky and Dank Beer Reviews. Hey, all right. What's the vibes, y'all? What are the vibes, you all? Uh, vibes are this is a gorgeous look this is the first here. time having this brewery on the channel yeah which is insane this I, is from plan b yeah and um they're out of poughkeepsie new york poughkeepsie and uh yeah so they they specialize in wild ales and stuff so this look at that bottle i love it it's and they got like the little wax up there with the that's already broken uh this one here is called textured pick, label it's called pickle pickle there you go. Uh, All right, that's so it. I love it. It's a it's a barn beer. Mm -hmm. It's a barn beer. Hundred percent New York ingredient beer aged in oak on cucumbers and dill. Get the suck out of sure here. Sure hope there's no uh, sediment in that beer. Oh, there's lots of sediment. Okay. Bottle condition. We're drinking it. And we shook it up. <laughs> oh I don't see gosh. an ABV actually. No ABV or date. Yeah. Let's look it up. I'll get her open. Um. Uh, or not. Five percent. If we can get them. Five percent. Five percent. Date, I don't know. So this could be vintage. This could be 2022, 21. Don't know, but I'm right. excited. Oh, me too. I cannot wait. I'm a big pickle fan. Look at uh, the we ladybug. Man, that thing just wants saying. Maybe give it some beer. Give it some beer. Maybe it's pickles too. Uh, we are both pickle fans. Love, love a good pickle. Yeah. Um, these wild ales, I know Jordan really digs these. He's all about wild ales. We are, we are akin to enjoying well, wild he, ales. He, he's ales a wild well. soul, so. He is. What a wild fellow. No, no shackle in him. Wow, that is just, that is lemonade, pear juice, bubbly, dirty glass. <laughs> no head on the top of that. Oh, no, it doesn't fit. Oh, my gosh. That's, oh, it does fit. It fits. A little bit. If it's, I got it. Don't question me. It looks, it looks refreshing. Dirty glass mafia. Um, hazy, no head. Like I'm swirling it up. There's no head to speak. Yeah, of. I mean it. It dissipates and you know what this quickly. looks like. To be honest, uh, we have a local brewery here, and every year in that town they have a sauerkraut festival, uh, yes, and they make a sauerkraut goes goes up. Yep. Um. And that's that. that's what it looks like. Uh, it doesn't sound it's not as gross as you think it. Would be. It really isn't. It's very. Gross. But I, I think that's with the wild owls and gozes and stuff. You're like, tell yourself it's not as bad as you sound. Oh, dude, that's fresh pickle. That is like out of a barrel. Like you are getting fresh deli pickles. Um, I don't know if in your area. Or in, in the country where you're at. But this smells like Grillo's. Grillo's fresh uh, refrigerated pickles. And yeah. Costanza? Yeah. Costanza over in Webster, New York. They're fresh pickles. And so that dill. Oh, the dill is there, so right? Good. It's so fresh and it's not overpowering. Cucumber skin. Oh. Oh, man. You know, they say cucumbers. Or pickles, or just cucumbers soaked in evil. I'm all for it. Once you, once you get past the initial dill aroma, mm -hmm. you really do get the the fresh cucumber mm -hmm. in there too, and it mixes so nicely. Like it's just an oil slick of just slow moving aromas. Very. It's very wide open, like in a field. Yep, that was gonna wild be my next flowers, note. Wild flowers, wild wheat, just tall floral grass. notes. Oh my god, yeah, you aren't kidding, man. It's it, it's a very barnyardy, funky kind of farm. Barn beer, barn beer. That smells so good. <laughs> Cheers, thanks, Jordan. Okay. 
All you hear is silence and our mouths are sore. That is... Welcome to 93 Lumber. What? We're just going to say here. <laughs> that was a oh, 93 Lumber. Spelled out. Moment. Um, okay. All the notes from the aroma are there. It is like pickle someone juice? poured pickle juice in some cucumber water, mm. carbonated it, and then garnished it with like some flower petals and whatnot. It's so good. I don't want you to get confused here. So I, I feel like I need to make the difference. Is there a bread and butter? Maybe. It's not... Don't think of, like, going to your supermarket and buying Vlasic pickles on the no. shelf. Or, or Mount no. Olive pickles. It's not that pickle juice. Pickle juice. It's not kosher dill pickle juice. It's your fresh pickles with fresh dill, refrigerated... And not, like, refrigerated Vlasic. I'm talking, like, craft pickles. Right, but what about Wegmans refrigerated pickles? Or even beyond that, right? Yeah. Well, beyond this is like Grillo's pickles. You can take the stock of fresh dill out of this piece. It, it sounds it sounds bad to say, and I know I already said it, but there is a watery characteristic, but that's where I get the cucumber water mm -hmm. in there, and it mixes so well with the vinegary, briny pickle aspect Again, like I said, it, it is, it's just a slow-moving oil slick of flavor, and At, it's delicious. Everything is so fresh. Like, it comes off oh, far, yeah. farm to table. It doesn't come off, like, natural flavors or too much. Man. It's, it's a lighter body, and I think that really works for it. It's a lower carbonated... Sprite soda, and I think there is kind of a limey zest in there too. There, oh my god, you're Man. totally. I was gonna say citrus, but now you say lime. There is a black market militia lime going on. Shout out. Um, if you know, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this out there. Is this the best pickle beer we've ever had? Because this is freaking good. Yes. Without a shadow Without of a doubt. Without a doubt. This is the best pickle beer I I've ever had. I need to find more of this beer. Like, my well, wife is going to be pissed. That well, she... well, listen, I'm going to tell you what. Work. You walked right past it. Oh, yeah, but we have plan B. Again, it's another brewery I walk past all the time. I'm you went ashamed. to one stop, and they right over on the wall. They mm -hmm. I'm ashamed. I, I'm, I'm a piece of shit. Um... Body and mouthfeel, because mm -hmm. people care about that. Well, that's what Joe from Beer Patrol says. Um, He's no authority. <laughs> it's a really thin, crisp, light um, body. It fits the tone. It's not too... It, it finishes somewhat clean. For the amount yes. of like the cucumber and dill, and matter of fact... Now that I'm sipping on it and I'm getting past some of that, mm -hmm. I'm getting a little of that oakiness from the barrel. That's what I was going to bring up next. Is like, are you finding any mm -hmm. of that barrel? No, in the, I think I'm having a harder time finding any barrel, excuse me, characteristics. Um, so right on, it's not detracting me at all. Right towards the back of the palate, that's where I'm getting that barrel. Mm. It's coming off like a little, a little bit of dresser drawer. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking like, you go to the antique road show mm. and there's an old dresser and you open up the drawer and you get Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um I feel like that's gonna come. I feel like this might open up a touch more, but even then man, this is a a fantastic beer. Absolutely fabulous. What do you rate it? <laughs> so here's the thing when I looked up things. Uh -huh. my, my friends had this an average of a 4.33. Okay. I am Everyone, that. out of a 2.4, 2.4K 2, 2. reviews, okay. everyone is a 3.98. That is um, the criminally evil low. Criminally um, low. I'm going to tell you. I, mm, I give this a 4.75. Okay. It is hands down the <sighs> best pickle because this is the kind of pickle I want. Oh, my God. God damn it. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not getting the barrel characteristic 
right yet. I feel like it's there, but I'm just maybe not getting it as much. That may just be on me. So I will give it a very conservative 4.9. I think this beer is damn near perfect. It's so good. It really like, is. From and let's go beyond just have you the ever beer had plan inside. B? Yeah, I've had plan B. I, I've never had. I've it. had plan B. I want to go beer aside. The bottle presentation, the textured label, the simplicity of the logo. I wish the ABV. I, I love that. And label. the date was on there. That label is textured. It's great. Yeah. So that is that's kind of knocking it off too. There's no date, and I wish there was like a, just a something. Just the year. Something. Stamp it on there. This beer is damn near perfect. It's maybe there's a it's cursive. I can't read cursive. <laughs> it says Barney BB. Well done. Well done. I know I've had at least one or two plan B beers before, but none of them have hit like this. This is this is delicious. Yeah. I will definitely buy more. What a treat this is. What a treat indeed. Uh thank you, Jordan. It's funny because uh when I was at the state fair, um, Plan B was there pouring that day. And Jordan, I was texting, and I was like, hey, I'm at the state fair. He's like, do Plan B's there right now? <laughs> okay. But I was like, I, you know, I had the family, and it was just, you know, it's hectic there. And yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah, I don't have time to go there and sample stuff. Right. You right. know. Um, but. Oh, my gosh. They yeah. probably had this thing. <laughs> I probably. mean, that, this is a state fair, but like, ah. <sighs> okay. Well. Down in the description. You like pickle beers? How, how often know. would you drink this? I, as I, good as it is. I don't know as I'd want to drink it too often because I want I would want it to remain a, a special. What are you talking about? Once a year? Once every six months? <clears throat> yeah, I'd say at least a couple times I would like okay. to drink this a year. Like, I would... I want this with some freaking Zweigels grilled up. It's nice, fancy mustard on it. Had I known, listen, had nice. I known, we could have gone out in the 40 degree weather. And I could have grilled up some white hots and red hots from Costanza sausage, which I have in the freezer. I've got some Costanza sausage in the freezer. Uh, this would go great with some of those, too. I, I would, I mean. Oh, this, I got the bat signal on the watch. It means we're doing another review. Oh, dear God. <laughs> um, I would drink, I, I let, let's say I'll I'll give it two times a year. I would want to drink this in the summer, make it a nice weekend event, grill up some good hot dogs, make some nice sides with it, drink a bottle of this. And I think this works in the fall time too. I, it's really good. Really good. All right. I, I can't say enough good things about this beer. <laughs> anyway, down in the description, leave a comment. You like pickle beers? Uh, have you had anything like this before? Have you ever had a pickle beer that just blows your freaking nuts off uh let us know jordan thanks again thanks everyone for watching cheers <laughs>